They got a lot of bees flying around. Look at all the bees. Check them out. They're not as aggressive as I thought they would be, though. We were an adventure. It's more than I bargained for today. We're getting it done, though. This is the second video of a two-video series. Uh, in the first video, I show you uh, what happens when bees stay in a swarm trap for too long. And in this video, I hope to show you uh, kind of how I dealt with these bees, what I decided to do, and hope things are going to turn out okay. I really appreciate you watching my videos all throughout the world for all those viewers out there and those who have subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you hit that red button, that red subscribe button and make it turn gray. And then if you tap that bell when it pops up, that'd be great. Also give me a thumbs up if you like the video. But we're gonna get on with the second video, show you what I did to deal with this, uh, this uh, swarm that had been in this box for too long. Hope you enjoy it, here we go. I'm back now and I've got my, uh, the bee jacket I prefer, what I've decided to do is split this into two 10 frame boxes. The four frames from this hive, this eight frame swarm trap into each of these. And it started here. There are some bees collecting up on the tree. Hopefully they'll be drawn down here to these boxes as time goes on. It's been a while since I left to go get these boxes. I had to go to a different location to get these boxes. So here we go. All I'm gonna do is just take four frames Make sure I have some, because um, it's basically going to be like a walkaway split. Going to make sure I have um, at least one frame that has some eggs on it in each box. I'm sure that won't be a problem in here. The only issue is a lot of the comb, unfortunately, is on the bottom of the frames where they built it out because these boxes are too deep. Normally I don't leave them this long. I don't have a chance to build it out very much. But it's been a while since I caught this swarm and I've checked back on it. So here we go. Um, let's bump some of these bees in here. Let's shake them. Let's go get the bees in these boxes here. We've got to get them in. It's kind of getting on towards the evening time. And so I think I'll just go ahead and put this frame in here. It's got honey on it. And as they built it out, it's mostly nectar upon a little bit of honey. They're just building out this side. They are kind of feisty, which is totally understandable because I've, I'm just kind of wrecking their world here a little bit. So we're gonna make one good strong swarm catch, hopefully into two hives that will grow and perform well. So I've gotta take all the comb off of the bottom of these frames. Look at all those darn bees. That's amazing. I'm just flabbergasted. I really don't care too much where the queen is. It's just gonna basically be like a walk away split. I don't really have to find her. Just hope, hope and pray she gets in the box. Knock that comb off in there. And then I'm just gonna toss it because I really there's nothing I can do with it. That's some pretty brood on there, but I just don't have any use for it. It won't fit in the box. Lots of nectar coming in. I might actually, I think I'm gonna checkerboard these frames so they'll be um, motivated to fill them out faster. Man, we got a lot of, a lot of nectar, a lot of nectar in here. We gotta find some eggs and some brood in the actual frames. So I'm probably going to have to do some mixing and matching here. We definitely need to make sure we have brooding eggs in each one. And these primarily are just nectar and honey. Some of the comb already fell off down in the box. Some big sections of that comb. Look at that. See how they build it on the bottom? Uh, but all the stuff above is full of nectar and honey. So we need to have some brood. So I don't see the queen on those the stub parts I'm about to knock off. Put it out here in front so they'll go inside. Hope the bees will run into the box. We're talking about a lot of bees here. Once again, we got nature and honey. Man, I should have come out here sooner, honestly. These last three frames are going to have a reasonable amount of brood in them, at least I hope so. Yeah, we got some brood on this one. A little bit.
Look at that beautiful honey that they're putting in. This hive was on the verge of being honey bound. I hope these last two frames have some eggs on them. Oh man, there's a lot of bees. I see some brood on this one, but I really don't see eggs. I don't think. So, we're pretty much going to have to... I'm not sure how we're going to be able to tell where the mated queen is. Oh, I see her. She's right here. I don't know if you can see her right there. Right there. Just went around the end of the frame. Kind of lost her. I know she's on here. Pretty sure she's going to be on this frame. I know I saw her unless she flew off, which is unlikely. Just never know though. Assuming she's still on this frame, I'm going to mark this box. I just don't see her though. I think she's got to be. She might have gone down into that box already. All right. I hope she went down in the box. trust she did. I'm going to mark this box as the probable box that has the queen in it. So if this is the box that has the queen in it, and I think it is, then I'll try and get a mated queen or put a, a frame with some eggs on it in the other box. Look at all these bees. Crazy. Because there really is no room for her to lay in these boxes. They're pretty much honey bound. Probably came and checked them just in time. Little bit of brood right there. Ooh, I hate that I didn't get out here sooner. Okay. Plenty of bees in here to start drawing this out. You get a queen in here laying. It should be okay, I think. I'm just gonna kinda get them in here for now. I may have to do some reconfiguring later. I gotta get him to the new location, get that all figured out tonight, and just get him set up, and then next week sometime I'm gonna have to come out and get them all situated. So we got lots of bees in here still. I'm afraid this is where most of our eggs are, is on this cone. They're smoking, they're getting a little feisty. So I really anticipate these hives get this hive getting pretty weak before it gets strong again. Just because there's very little brood. These are practically honey bound. If any of you out there have suggestions of how I could do this better the next time. Well the first thing I could do better is actually get them relocated sooner and kind of let it get away from me. If you have any ideas on how I can, if I'm in this situation, do it better. Let me know. There's quite a few bees collecting up on the tree over here. They're just really kind of confused right now. So what I'm probably going to do here, we just kind of have, honestly, have kind of a mess right now going on. They're pretty confused, and I understand. Makes sense. I'm going to get these bees out of the swarm trap box, dump them on the ground in front of the hives, Hopefully they'll start running in. And hopefully some of these bees that are up on the tree will start to congregate back into the boxes. I may move the boxes back here and maybe elevate them a little bit so they can find them easier. And then I'll get these boxes out of here this evening. Still a lot of bees in this box. I don't know if you can tell. All those bees in there. But I think if I shake them in front of these other boxes, they'll probably run in. They should. Let me try that. Okay. 
okay. They got a lot of bees flying around. Look at all the bees. Check them out. They're not as aggressive as I thought they would be, though. They'd probably be stinging me up a little bit if I didn't have this my gear on. Put the lids on them. I'll let them try to figure out everything. Quite a few up here on the tree. Maybe the lids. I'm gonna get the lids on here and then I'm gonna turn them facing the tree and then get my bee brush or a towel or something or some grass and wipe those bees off the tree down in front of the boxes and hopefully they'll run in. If we can get these both of these hives queen right and have a queen in both hives, we could end up with some really nice hives here. That's gonna be a challenge though. Because they're pretty close to being honey bound and there's only one queen for two boxes. So, a lot of bees up on the tree. Let me turn those boxes around, facing the bees. They could probably, they'll probably be okay either way, but. Well, it's the first time I've ever had anything exactly like this happen, so a little bit not sure exactly what to do. I'm kind of put the boxes like that. Smoke these bees up there on the ground down here, get them flying. Oh, we got bees everywhere. Let me smoke them on the tree. Get them flying. I think I'm going to turn this off and uh, just let them settle for a while. I'm going to kind of walk you around and show you this. Admittedly, this is kind of a mess, but that's the box they were in. Here are the bees down here. I kind of face the hives towards the tree because we got some bees collecting up here on the tree. So I might just give my bee brush <clears throat> or I might continue to smoke these bees and try and get them off the tree. I did see the queen, I'm pretty sure she's in this box right here. And uh, just gonna let them sit a little while and see what happens. So here's what I did. I sprayed honey be gone on the tree and the bees left the tree. I have both the boxes sitting down here, both the splits. And they were going in the other box. I think the queen was in the other box. Plus, the honey be gone mine had drifted a little bit over to this box. But when I removed the other box, they started going in there better, as you can see. And um, the other box is in the truck, ready to go. Right over here. Still a few bees flying around. And I'm just gonna let them collect here where if they want to. The other swarm, I found a trick that works pretty well. Swarm is right here. Um, I've smoked them once already. If you smoke bees when they're all on the outside, they seem to do pretty well. Seems to drive them in the box. And there's much fewer bees. There are much fewer bees now than were. See, they're going in pretty good. So I'm going to get these on the truck here before long as well. And call it a day. We were an adventure. It's more than I bargained for today. We're getting it done though. Ooh, what an adventure. Got them all loaded up. Getting them up to their new home. We're gonna close them up. On to the next video.